today I'm going to be showing you the wear and tear of this lovely bag that I got not long ago from Mulberry. Now this bag has come with me all through the travels that I did in Greece. I was on a boat with this bag and it was definitely had its wear and tear. So I'm going to tell you exactly what has changed and also when I'm holidaying in Greece, what I carry in my bag. So first what I'm going to do is begin with a bit of information on the wear and the tear of a mulberry bag. So this bag is the uh, mini size of the Alexa bag and it is beautiful. The design goes with so many different outfits and that's why I brought it with me on this trip. Some of the things to be mindful of, number one would be the transfer that this bag has. Now I haven't worn anything that is black on this trip at all, but there is definitely a transfer of color no matter what type of clothing you're wearing. If it's got a little bit of color, it doesn't have to be jeans or anything, you will still get the transfer. So I noticed that a little bit of color has rubbed off onto the bag leather. It is so easy to clean. You just need like a wet wipe and you can just wipe it off. Or you can wash the bag as well with like a toothbrush if it is a bit more of a deeper stain. But just to be mindful of those little things. Another thing about it would be the scratching on the postman's lock. So it's quite easy to scratch it just because it is exposed. I kept the plastic on there for a full week before I took it off and then I just couldn't do it anymore because it was so hot so I did take it off and now I have a beautiful uh, shiny gold postman's lock so that is something to be mindful though if you are traveling but otherwise if you're just using it as a day bag I wouldn't worry too much about that and other than that for the wear and tear it's just become a little bit softer from my use but I would not say that the mini size is essential to have an organizer with it because I find that it is structured a lot more than the medium size so an organizer is not as important. It will still hold its shape as long as you are putting a few different things in there to fill up the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the things that I carry with me when I am traveling. These are must-haves in my opinion. I definitely don't like to overpack my bags, but there are some things that you just cannot live without. I think because Greece is very hot, the climate at the moment, we're getting 45 degrees, 47, 50 degrees even yesterday. You do have to make sure that you're protecting your skin and also wearing lots of eye protection. So as we open up, one of the things I have packed in here are these Burberry glasses that I bought on this trip. I found them and they were quite a good price in euros as compared to what they would be in the UK. And I thought they were just very classic and timeless. So I'll show you what they look like. Yes, so <laughs> uh, they are definitely a bit more on the oval side, but it's a style that doesn't go out. and. When you're uh, here, it is very glary and hot. So uh, my Chloe glasses are very light and they're good for, you know, if you're sitting in the shade, but once you're walking in the sun, you do need some thick black glasses like so. That's that. Now this is something I carry just because I love the scent. It is my Solo Blank. And this fragrance is a perfect holiday scent. It smells so beautiful. It has a bit of a sunscreen kind of a smell but it reminds you of being on holiday and it's very easy to wear every day. Even in the afternoon you can wear this one. It will just make you smell like you're on holiday, you're having a good time and you're very approachable. So I love this one. I'm going to spritz a little there. Mm, I've been wearing it like every day. Of course, I have a mask. In Greece, we still have to wear masks indoors, as well as some hand sanitizer. This is the sunscreen that I'm using here on this trip. So this sunscreen is actually 100 SPF, and I find that this is very handy because it does not run as much as some of the other sunscreens that I have, so it sits on my face a lot better, absorbs into the skin and gives me full protection. It's also active control, so if your skin is quite uh, sensitive to heavy products, this is also a good one to have. I 
have a credit card, my lip balm, which is also a lip balm that has SPF 30 in it. These are eye drops that I carry with me. I am allergic to cats and I'm allergic to most things nature, so having eye drops really helps me when I am at a restaurant because I'm not going to get runny eyes or uh, you know itchy eyes and it just helps so much with being able to tolerate the amount of cats that are here. I also have these two makeup lip liners, so a lip liner and a lipstick and they are just for everyday use. I have some gum. I have sunglasses cleaners. I got this one with the sunglasses and it's been so handy. They also gave me this cleaning cloth and every time my sunglasses get makeup on them or they get sunscreen, it's just really handy to actually have something to clean them with that is not um, just a piece of tissue because you're actually doing like a proper job in cleaning it. And then the last thing that I have in here is a sample fragrance that I got from Maison Francis Jean and this is Ella Rose and this is the um, Eau de Parfum version and I got this one from Selfridges before I left the UK and it is just such a fresh scent. Usually if it's a warm the climate it works a lot better. I feel like I'm looking too sweaty. So yeah it works um, best in the warm climate so when I spray this one here in the hot weather I find it radiates so much more than what it does usually back home so it's definitely a worthwhile tester to use in the warm climate.